you guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Antoinette and on today's video this is a highly requested one okay so today's video I'm going to finally show you guys our man cave slash basement tour okay the full thing all right now before I get into the tour I just want to give you guys a little bit of a backstory if you've been following me for a while, you already know we had some water damage to our home, which forced us to kind of, you know, repair everything. It was a lot of damage. So as I'm talking and showing you guys bits and pieces, I'll try to insert clips of what most of it looked like beforehand. So you get an idea of all the repairs we had done and everything that we had to do. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the video. Alright you guys, so this is the man cave. As you can see, we have our pictures of our beautiful family, our boys and their sports, basketball, football. We have the sign that says Better Together, which was from Hobby Lobby. And then this sign right here um, that says Man Cave was actually from Hobby Lobby as well. My husband loves Hobby Lobby, y'all. Ever since I put him on a Hobby Lobby, he be coming back with more signs. I'm like, stay out of that store. <laughs> but I'm gonna show you guys. Um, this is what it looks like when you first come downstairs. You guys, the floor, the floor, I would say to me, in my opinion, has been the biggest job, okay? Because beforehand, the floor was, I believe it was a dark color, I don't even remember. But all of this was a DIY, my husband did this. You guys, and he did an amazing job. Um, I will try to insert pictures, like I said, of what it looked like beforehand. Um, but the floor was um, purchased from Floor Decor, and I also try to insert the name and the brand that we got. But yeah, it was like the snap, snap and attached floor that you see. But it's so nice, you guys. It was very easy to install, but it was a big job. Okay, so pay attention to the floor. And then as you come over here, this is the infamous bar area this is where we chill out hang out have our drinks um you notice <laughs> the bar stash right now um yeah i try to keep my husband from out of here but you guys this right here um this marble top we had installed by a company here in georgia i will try to leave the information as well um but yeah my husband opted for a dark marble um Come cameraman, so they can get a closer look of the marble. It's so pretty, and I think it goes good with the overall aesthetic of the room. The bar chairs we got from the at-home store, and we got a set of two. Actually, we got four, as you can see. One, two, three, four. And if you notice some of the you know paraphernalia around the room, you can see my husband is retired military, retired Navy chief. <laughs> Hoorah! <laughs> um, the wall color, the wall color is more of, um, I believe it was dark wine was the name of the color, and the brand is Bear, you guys. And I chose the color. Did I choose the color? My husband chose the color. It was this dark wine by the brand Bear. And this gray is actually the same gray that's in our house upstairs in our living room area. So it's the same gray, but I believe with the wine and the gray, it goes well. It's a good contrast color. And you guys have complimented the color a lot. Um, I've gotten a lot of DM DMs and questions about the color of the walls and the basements. So I also try to link it somewhere on the screen for you guys if you're interested. Over here we have our TV, one of the TVs. You guys, I'm trying. <laughs> okay, so if it was up to my husband, he would have TVs around this whole room, okay? So I'm like, look, you have too many TVs. You don't need no more TVs, okay? So this is just one of the TVs. As you can see, he does a great job with mounting the TVs. Um, he's a pro at now. So this is just one of the TVs. This is our little lounge area right here. I'm just gonna go in a full circle, you guys. And look at this cute little Christmas tree. <laughs> this is so cute. <laughs> My husband decorated it himself. <laughs> but I think it was so cute. And yeah, I just thought it was so uh, holiday-ish. <laughs> um, as you can see, another sign from Hobby Lobby. I told him, stop buying all these signs. Y'all, this one I did not like. <laughs> 
And then when you come over here, this right here, now this has got to be one of his favorite purchases for the man cave has got to be this pool table. This pool table has seen a lot of games, okay? Um, it is a beautiful pool table. The wine color inside definitely goes with the paint color on the walls. The pool table is actually by the brand Brunswick. So it's a Brunswick pool table. Uh, very nice detailing on the wood. And you can also see it on the bottom, you guys. The detail is everything. It is everything on the detail. Great quality pool table. The lights above the pool table were installed by my husband as well. These lights, I believe, came from Home Depot, uh, of course. <laughs> so yeah, it adds a little bit of something different to this area, which I love. Um, and then over here, we have another TV, okay? This one, I think I showed you guys how we mounted this TV before in a recent, well, a video not too long ago. I think I did show you guys how we did this uh, TV. Well, this is just another uh, one that he mounted up here. Um, this is his humidor for his cigars. You guys, I don't know why this is right here, but this is his humidor for his cigars. And yeah, so. All right, so if you come over here, this right here has got to be another Y'all, we lucked up on this purchase right here. So this right here is a beautiful chess set. To me, it looks so antique and so vintage. You guys, we got this from the Goodwill. We got this from the Goodwill about a few, no, about two weeks ago. And you guys, it came with all the pieces. It came with all the chairs. Everything you see here is what it came with. It came in great condition. There were a few like little knickknacks here and there, but you guys, I think this is a great purchase. So tip, if you ever um, looking for like furniture or unique finds or you know anything like vintage, check out your local drift store or Goodwill. You guys, you never know what you may find in there, okay? So the sign in the back is also from Hobby Lobby. It just gives a list of all the you know teams and stuff like that, Super Bowl champions. Up top is another TV, another TV, okay? <laughs> The speakers were also installed um, by my husband as well. He did the wiring for those as well, which he did a great job. And it's basically surround sound throughout the whole basement and outside. And then you come over here, another sign, okay? <laughs> Hobby Lobby, you guys, Hobby Lobby. Over here is, no, oh shoot. Over here, <laughs> we have our poker table. Now, I don't play poker, okay? But we use this as a poker table, a card table, you know, uh, things like that. This table was actually purchased from a furniture store. And this uh, cover right here, we actually ordered from Amazon. And you guys, this was also from Amazon, these um, coasters as well. So yeah, I think it's really cute how you put that together, you guys, so cute. And then this sign right here, I think I showed you guys the sign already. This also came from Hobby Lobby. All right, and then I want y'all to pay attention to uh, two things that I did not mention at first, the ceiling fans. The ceiling fans were not there before. I believe we had the white um, ceiling fans that actually came with the home. These ceiling fans are from Home Depot as well. My husband installed both ceiling fans. There's one here and there's one over there if you can see it. Over here, of course, this is where he decided to put the pool sticks near this painting. Now, this painting did not come from Hobby Lobby. This is something we had for a while. I love this painting. And then here go another sign. You guessed it, Hobby Lobby. <laughs> this is the bathroom, you guys. Hopefully, it's clean, okay? Because I don't be down here that much, but you know how men are. Men are nasty. <laughs> But anyway, oh, it's clean. Okay, so this is the bathroom, you guys. Um, it's just real basic in here. Your blacks and brown, well, your blacks and grays. Um, this mirror we purchased from Home Depot. The lights we purchased from Home Depot. You know, kept everything very, very simple. You know, little knickknacks here and there. Um, yeah, what you see is what you get with the bathroom. 
And then when you come over here, this is one, this to me is my favorite area of the man cave and basement. This is what keeps me down here is this mirror. <laughs> this full length wall mirror is what actually keeps me down here because I can get so many nice selfies down here, you guys. And I was like, if I had it my way, I'd make this like a cute little dance studio or whatever, but <laughs> that's my favorite mirror in the whole house. You guys, this is our infamous movie theater. So this room has been through a lot. <laughs> we did a lot to this room. We've painted the walls, new carpets, uh, everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what we've done. And if you watch my channel, if you've been following for a while, you already seen the before pictures of this theater, but I'll try to insert them somewhere in this video. So here she is. All right, here she is, you guys. This is our home theater. This is where we come and watch our movies, spend most of our family time. You guys have seen this room already. Um, nothing major has changed. The carpet, same carpet we got from Amazon. Um, the screen was also purchased from Amazon as well. Um, most of the posters we um, purchased from a place called allposters.com. Um, they have every single poster that you could ever want on their website. Um, over here, <laughs> we have a mini fridge. This fridge I actually bought um, as a gift for my husband. And then he decided to put this little tray under it to keep it from leaking. More posters from allposters.com. This stand we actually got from um, Amazon as well. It actually rotates, which I love. And we just place most of our DVDs up here. We no longer buy DVDs, we just like rent movies. But when we were buying DVDs heavy, we had a bunch of them. So we just put them all up here. And like I said, this was from Amazon. So if you're interested in this um, stand, then I'll try to link it as well, um, below as well. Because I know a lot of people have asked me questions about this stand before. Um, this right here, this little tray, you guys. Where are my Whoppers? Okay. Okay, so this little tray, you guys, is where we keep all our little snacks. The Whoppers are my favorite. Um, this was also from Amazon as well. You can find chips and stuff here. Down here, we just store more snack, snacks and stuff. More posters. This light was actually from Home Depot as well. Something that my husband decided to add. We have one here and we also have one on that side of the room. Um, these curtains, I actually picked out myself. I think I got these curtains from Didi's Dee Discount or Ross. I'm not sure because it's been that long. But they're just gray, light gray um, curtains, blackout curtains. And I think they go good with the overall aesthetic of the room. Um, and then these seats, um, these reclining seats, we got from Four Seating, I believe, was the name of the company. FourSeating.com. And y'all, these seats have got to be so comfortable. They do recline and they do come with uh, USB ports and they do have lights at the bottom which I'll probably show you towards the end of this video. The pillows and the pillow covers actually came from Amazon as well. I thought it was so cute. They're so cute because they go with the movie theme. You guys, Amazon be having everything. Amazon, Wayfair, Hobby Lobby, at home store. You guys, we buy a lot of our stuff from those stores. The projector, you guys, was from Amazon. Now, this is a 4K projector. We went through one already. Hopefully, we won't have the issue. You went through one. Huh? You went through one. I went through one. <laughs> so, anyway, guys, the lights, do uh, they have different settings on them. So, with this remote, I can do different things with the lights. I can cut them all on. I can cut one off. I can dim them. I can make them bright. So it's a bunch of different things that I can do with these lights, which is good, which is great for watching movies, of course. And it comes with this little remote, so that's a plus. Um, I get a lot of questions about the paint, you guys. Now this was a custom paint. Um, we had a mix up at Home Depot. The brand is still bare, but I'll make sure to insert the name of the paint because I do get a lot of questions about this. The carpet, as you can see, um, this one actually from Home Depot as well. Um, all this was installed by my husband and my father-in-law. They did a great job. And when we had water damage to our home, it was this whole wall right here that had to come out. Y'all, it was destroyed. It was terrible. So I made sure to insert pictures of how I look beforehand because you can see through this wall to the other room. Like it was terrible. So they did a great job of fixing this and repairing this wall. And you couldn't even tell there was water damage in here. 
Um, here is our closet. And all of this is somewhere we just store more stuff, more junk. <laughs> but it's the same concept, same color walls, same carpet. Nothing, you know, nothing major. And then over here we have our little popcorn machine. <laughs> and this sign that says popcorn, you guessed it, it was from Hobby Lobby. <laughs> All right, guys, so now that you've seen the theater, I'm going to go ahead and show you the other rooms because you guys seen all this stuff. Let me show you the, the rooms that you did not see yet, okay? Come with me. All right, guys, so this is on the opposite side of the man cave area. We're still in the basement area, but I want to show you these rooms because I never show these rooms. This is just extra rooms that we really had no clue what to do with. So, um, on this side, we kind of turn into like a little quiet area. Um, down here, I just have my furniture from my old place. Um, we just added the chest set, some little decor. And over here is the closet. Um, we decided to keep the same color throughout the whole basement, the, you know, with the burgundies, same floor, you know. So, everything is kind of continuous throughout the whole basement. Um, ceiling fan was installed by my husband as well and then <laughs> across the top he just has his little Dragon Ball Z action figures and collectible items so you know as you can see in this room we're still trying to figure it out we may end up changing it to a bedroom I was thinking maybe a winery store some more wines down here you know so you let me know in the comments what you think we should do with this Arcade. room okay my husband said arcade. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. We got enough game systems everywhere else. So, you guys, let me know what I should do with this room. All right, so here we have the infamous barber shop. So, something that you may not know is that my husband is also a certified barber. He's been cutting hair for years now, okay? He cut hair on the side while he was in the military and he just continued to cut hair. He cut our boy's hair, so he needed a place to actually cut hair. So, this room right here, we kind of made into the home barber shop, as you can see. Um, this mirror already came with the house. So, we thought this was like a perfect area to, you know, set up shop. The fan um, is also a new fan that he installed as well from Home Depot. And over here, he just has his equipment, um, you know, the stuff he uses to cut hair with, this little chair. Yeah, so, and as you can see, the paint and the wall is continuous. These chairs right here, we got from Home Depot as well. We just, you know, put them along the sides of the room. I'm thinking about ordering some more decor in here, like one of those little barbershop signs and stuff. All right, guys, so if you look up, the speakers are from Samsung. They were also a DIY that my husband installed. And we also have the same speakers in that room as well. So we have surround sound throughout this whole basement um, level. So yeah, so this room, we're still kind of working on it, you know? Um, I'm thinking we can order like a little barber sign or something in here, you know, put some posters up. So yeah. All right, guys, so over here, I'm not going to show this room because this is boring stuff. This is where I store all of my home decor stuff. This is our, our gym area, y'all. I mean, you know what? You know what? We can show this room. It's not nothing too fancy, you guys, but here it is. <laughs> There's one more area that I have not shown you guys. Um, you have already seen my patio. You've always seen the upstairs patio, but I never show you the downstairs patio and go into detail of everything we did down there. So let's go ahead and head outside. All right, you guys, so this is our uh, <laughs> deck area outside. This is where we come and watch the game, grill, have a good time. You guys, my husband did a lot of uh upgrades to this area if you can see the fans he did both fans he installed them by himself um the electrical work all the way down to actually putting them in to get them to actually mount up there he did that all himself which it turned out great and then one of the biggest jobs i hear you guys was this tv <laughs> my husband mounted this tv himself he created the whole mount 
um, and he also created the case for the TV itself, okay, which was a huge job. Um, this is where we come to watch football, watch our games, listen to music, we can do s'mores out here, everything like that. Now, another th good thing about the way he has it mounted is it swivels. So if I'm over there on a helmet and I want to see the TV, it can swivel that way. Um, it also swivels this way for our, our guests or family who was sitting over there. So yeah, this was a great, this was a great purchase. It was a great DIY, and I'm glad he actually did that. So this, this um, so this fire pit was from Home Depot as well. Um, like I said, we can do our s'mores out here and grill out here, and then upstairs. This area just kind of takes you back upstairs to the upper deck, which you've already seen. So I'm not even going to show that part because you guys seen that plenty of times. If you follow my channel, you already seen it. <laughs> so yeah, so we're going to go ahead and get ready to grill out here. It is Sunday, all right? So I hope you guys enjoy your Sunday or whenever you're viewing this video. All right, if you have any questions, make sure you put them in the comments below and I'll try to list everything that I can possibly think of in the description that you guys always ask me about, all right? Till next time, mwah. Bye, YouTube.